Hi guys, we are going to practice naming the parts of the circle. I promise this video will be a little bit shorter. That first one was a little bit longer since it was my first time doing it. All right, for this worksheet, if you have some colored pencils or crayons or markers, um, that would be useful. If you don't, don't worry about it. There is a practice page I'll be uploading and it does say to use the colors while you work on it. If you don't have the colors, then just practice naming them. You can use this sheet to refer back to. Um, the colors are just there to help you a little bit. Okay, for, so for naming parts of a circle, if we look down at the bottom here, the first one says color the center point green. All right, so in our picture, the center point is B. And we have to name it. The way we name our center point is just by using one letter, B, or point B. Either is acceptable. Number two, color the radius blue. Now, if you look at your picture, there are actually quite a few radii in the picture. Radii is the plural for radius. So if I look at this picture, IB is a radius, BE is a radius, and BH is a radius. I'm just going to pick one and I'm gonna go with BH. So I'm gonna highlight that blue and I'm going to name it BH. And a radius is a segment, so make sure that you have the segment bar on top. Next is a diameter. Now you'll see why I chose BH as my radius, because your diameter is a segment that has to go all the way across through the circle through the center point. That would leave IE to be my diameter. Let's trace that in red. Name it IE with a segment bar on top. <clears throat> Next we have to color the chord yellow. So let's take a look at our picture. A chord is a segment. So if I look up here, I see arrows at the end and I say, oh, well that's a line, all right? A diameter is a special type of chord, but I wanna find something else. Let's take a look down here at CD. CD is a segment and it touches the circle twice. Let's go with CD. All right, I'm gonna write this one in in pencil because I'm afraid the yellow might not show up. So CD with our segment bar on top. All right, what I do wanna point out though is I do see that this line up here has the arrows. However, if I just look from A to F, I could actually use segment AF as a chord. It's like a hidden chord. All right, number five says we are going to now color the secant orange. If we look at our picture, a secant is a line that goes through the circle twice. Well, there's not too many options left. Let's take a look at AF. AF is a line and it goes through the circle twice. Once at A and once at F. So naming the secant would be AF but we have to make sure we have our proper notation with a line on top. Now, color the tangent purple. Well, only one thing left, and we know that a tangent is a line that is outside of the circle, but it touches the circle once. GJ looks like a tangent to me, touches the circle once. GJ with a line above it. Sorry about that. And the point of tangency is brown. So in our picture, where does that tangent line touch the circle? It touches the circle at point E. Point E is our point of tangency. All right. I'm gonna flip the page really quickly because what you're going to have to do 
on your own, you're going to have to do exactly what we did on the page before that I just went over. It's another diagram, different letters. It's asking you to highlight. If you have the colors, great, do what we just did. If you don't, then just name them like we did on the blank line, lines provided. All right, I'm going to assign you um, some work to do um, in Google Classroom. And the way that you can get it back to us is you can take a photo and you can send it back. If you have trouble taking a photo and sending it back, reach out to me and I will help you. If you want, Google is an excellent way to also figure out how to do something in Google Classroom. You could just Google how to take a photo and send it back in Google Classroom. All right?